Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, really quick, while my daughter is quiet, sitting in her chair, I am going to try to quickly show you uh, some of my pre-decorated pages in my journal. Had some time on my hands today, and instead of journaling, I decided to just pre-decorate as many pages as I could, so that way I could um, just, you know, journal when I have the moment. So I'm currently in journal 123. And I always save the packaging, I don't know why, um, of my new insert whenever I start one. So I always kind of give that a little bit of a decorative um, element there. Um, I had a bunch of just paper ends, sticker flakes, stickers, and things like that that I wanted to use up. So you'll see a lot of that just kind of collaged in here. Just to give you an idea of how I do it. So uh, sticker flakes, washi collaging here, some handmade uh, stickers there. Lots of kind of flip tipping elements you'll see. That's a sticker from a big wooden cheese box that my husband brought home for me. Some post-it notes that I've utilized as like journal elements. This is from like a flow magazine. This is like Panera packaging right here that I just ripped up. A vintage postcard. This is like brown paper packaging from a sandwich from a cafe that I had. And I just took the clean part out and just used that. Flow paper. Um, this is, you know like when you buy stamps and it comes in that big vellum-y kind of envelope, I just ripped it up and used it. You can use a Sharpie on that and it writes just fine. This is trace paper over that. So if you have pattern paper but you don't want to cover it up, I recommend trace paper over that so you can kind of still see it and then you can journal over that with a Sharpie. Collaged papers, using up some old Project Life cards that I've wanted to use. More of that stamp envelope. Some Things that I've just thrown in, lots of stickers. This is from my old Filofax, or my old Kiki K. I just kept the paper because I really liked it. Um, I made my own um, dividers and I really liked the paper, so just save that. Trace paper here, vintage receipt paper. I punched out using my hole punch. I decided to keep my hole punch and I used it to um, punch out a bunch of odds and end papers that I had. Sticker flakes and stickers, or washi stickers. Old flow paper that I ripped up, and then more of that stamp envelope paper. Old packaging here, and then this is an odd paper end that I've kept for the longest time, so I can use silver gel pen on that flow paper right here. This is from a magazine, trace paper packaging. And there's an envelope here with paper. Odds and ends here. I really like this page. This is from Seeky Club stickers and post-it notes that I just really like, so I just kept that in there. And that's it. So just wanted to show you to give you an idea of how I've thrown things in in case you're just looking for ideas. Um, I'm just trying to use things up. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks guys. Bye.